So recently, I've noticed a trend. Well, okay, it's not really a trend. It's more of a pattern of people trying to redact information and screenshots by using the default image editing tools available on their phones. The problem with this is that these tools don't actually operate at 100% opacity. So basically, if you brighten the image or you just look closely at it, anyone can still see the information that you're trying to redact with it. And given everything, digital security now is more important than ever. So I'm just making this quick little tutorial to show you guys a quick way to properly redact a screenshot in such a way that'll actually hide the information you want to hide. I am a Mac user, so I'm using this application called Paintbrush. I'm not sponsored by them, I'm just using it because it's what I have. You can use other apps like Photoshop or Microsoft Paint. Really, it's just important that it has an eraser tool. And for illustrative purposes, I have it set up so that the eraser tool will leave behind a red background layer. Now, obviously, this comment that I have here doesn't have anything that actually needs to be redacted. It's a completely innocuous bit of nonsense. But let's say I did want to hide the identity of the person who made this post. So for that, we'd need to cover up the profile picture and the username. So what we'd do is we'd select the eraser tool, and we'd just... Go over that, and we'd go over that. And there we have it. The screenshot has been redacted. And because I was using the eraser tool, those pixels have been removed from the image instead of just being covered up. If I were to post this screenshot somewhere like this, nobody would be able to see the redacted content no matter what kind of modifications they made to the image, because that content isn't part of the image anymore. So if you want to redact information from a screenshot, I'd suggest using this method. It's really simple and it's way more reliable than using the tools on your phone. And that's all I have for this video. Stay safe out there, everyone.